Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're diving into a topic that has created a lot of buzz lately. What is the future of DevOps? I've had loads of people ask me if DevOps is a good field to get into in 2024. What are the prospects of DevOps? And generally there's just a lot of narratives out there about the future of DevOps. I totally get it though. These questions are valid and it's only right to know what you're getting into. So I made this video to address this topic from my own standpoint. Whether you're trying to decide on a career path, a seasoned professional considering a switch, or someone just curious about the tech industry, this video is for you. We'll discuss the importance of DevOps, its job prospects, the skills required, the role of AI, and how DevOps compares to other fields like development and data engineering. We'll also explore some emerging trends in DevOps and how you can stay ahead of the curve. So grab a cup of coffee, you know, grab some popcorn, sit back and let's dive into it. So first, let's talk about what DevOps actually is. DevOps is a set of practices designed to bridge the gap between software development and IT operations. The primary goal is to shorten the software development lifecycle while delivering features, fixes, and updates frequently and in close alignment with business objectives. DevOps emphasizes collaboration and practices like continuous integration and continuous delivery, automation, and monitoring. So, why is DevOps important? The main driver is the need for speed, <laughs> pun intended, and reliability. Businesses today operate in a fast-paced environment where rapid deployment of new features and bug fixes can make a significant difference in customer satisfaction. DevOps practices help achieve this by ensuring that development and operation teams work together seamlessly, resulting in faster delivery times, improved quality, and higher reliability of applications. Now, let's talk about job prospects in 2024. The demand for DevOps professionals is on the rise. According to industry reports, the DevOps market is expected to grow substantially, fueled by the increasing adoption of cloud services and the need for faster, more reliable software delivery. Companies across various sectors from tech startups to large enterprises are investing heavily in DevOps practices and tools in order to stay competitive. But it's not just about the demand, it's also about the skills and experience required. Companies are looking for professionals who can handle the complexities of modern IT environments. This includes knowledge of cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud, containerization tools like Docker and Kubernetes, automation tools like Jenkins and Ansible, and monitoring tools like Prometheus and Grafana. As a result, there's a high demand for experienced DevOps engineers who can bring these skills to the table. Let's look into how DevOps compares to other fields like development and data engineering. In traditional software development, developers write code to build applications, but their work often stops there. In contrast, DevOps engineers are involved throughout the entire software development lifecycle, from coding and testing to deployment and monitoring. They ensure that code changes are integrated smoothly, tested thoroughly, and deployed reliably. Data engineering, on the other hand, focuses on designing and managing the infrastructure that supports large-scale data processing and analysis. Data engineers often work closely with DevOps teams to ensure that data pipelines are efficient, scalable, and reliable. While data engineering and DevOps are distinct fields, there's a significant overlap especially in terms of infrastructure management and automation. Now let's talk about the big question. Is the DevOps field becoming saturated? While it's true that more people are entering the field, the demand for DevOps skills still exceeds the supply. This is because DevOps requires a broad and deep skill set that includes software development, system administration, automation, cloud computing and continuous integration and continuous delivery practices. DevOps is a challenging field that demands continuous learning and adaptation, but it's also highly rewarding for those who invest the time and effort to master it. Experience is a very key factor in DevOps. While foundational knowledge is important, 
Real world experience is invaluable. And the best way to gain experience is by working on real projects, contributing to open source communities, and continuously improving your skills through practice and experimentation. Certifications can also boost your credibility and marketability. Certifications like AWS Certified DevOps Engineer, Google Professional DevOps Engineer, and CKA, which is the Certified Kubernetes Administrator, are highly regarded in the industry and can help you stand out in a competitive job market. Let's address the impact of AI on DevOps. AI is transforming many aspects of IT and DevOps is no exception. Here are a few ways AI is enhancing DevOps practices. First is predictive analysis. AI can analyze historical data and predict potential issues before they occur, allowing teams to address problems proactively. AI is also improving automation. AI-driven automation tools can handle repetitive tasks more efficiently, freeing up DevOps engineers to focus on more strategic activities. Monitoring and security are also greatly impacted by AI as it has helped enhance real-time monitoring and threat detection, making systems more secure and reliable. While AI automates some aspects of DevOps, it won't replace the need for skilled DevOps professionals. Instead, AI will support their capabilities, enabling them to work more efficiently and effectively. DevOps engineers who embrace AI and integrate it into their workflows are better positioned to succeed. Another aspect to consider is how roles are evolving within the tech industry. As technology progresses, the lines between different roles are getting blurry. For instance, developers are expected to have some knowledge of DevOps practices and vice versa. This trend is likely to continue, making it essential for professionals to be versatile and adaptable. As AI and automation become more integrated into DevOps, the role of a DevOps engineer will continue to evolve. While some tasks will be automated, the need for strategic thinking and problem solving will remain. AI can handle repetitive tasks, but human oversight and expertise are crucial for ensuring that systems run smoothly and efficiently. Let's also talk about the importance of culture in DevOps. DevOps is not just about tools and technologies. It's also about fostering a culture of collaboration and continuous improvement. This involves breaking down silos between development and operation teams, encouraging open communication and building a shared responsibility for the quality and reliability of software being delivered. Lately, there's been a lot of conversations around DevOps and cloud because these fields are currently experiencing significant growth as more and more companies are building dedicated DevOps teams. When DevOps started gaining traction around a decade and a half ago, there were no dedicated DevOps teams. Developers, sysadmins, and other IT professionals manage DevOps tasks. And today, most companies have dedicated DevOps teams that are scaling up. One key reason for this growth is the migration to public cloud platforms from private clouds or on-premise environments. As companies look to leverage the benefits of public cloud, such as scalability and cost efficiency, DevOps and cloud engineers play a crucial role in facilitating these migrations. Additionally, the rise of hybrid cloud environments where companies use a mix of on-premise, private and public cloud services further emphasizes the need for skilled DevOps professionals. Containerization and container orchestration tools like Kubernetes have also contributed to the increasing demand for DevOps skills. While many companies have experimented with Kubernetes in their development and staging environments, they are now moving towards deploying Kubernetes in production. This transition also requires expertise in continuous integration and continuous delivery, which DevOps engineers provide. Now let's discuss some emerging DevOps trends in 2024. Note that these trends are not completely new, but there's an exponential increase in their adoption in 2024. So first is AI Ops. The integration of AI in IT operations, also known as AI Ops, is completely changing DevOps practices. AI and machine learning can automate various tasks such as anomaly detection, predictive maintenance, failure prediction, performance optimization, capacity planning, 
and root cause analysis. AIOps allows DevOps teams to offload routine tasks to AI algorithms, enabling them to focus on more strategic activities. Next is serverless computing. Serverless computing has existed for a while, but is gaining more popularity as it allows developers to build and run applications without managing servers. Cloud providers manage the infrastructure and companies only pay for the compute resources they use. Serverless frameworks like AWS Lambda and Google Cloud Functions are becoming essential tools in the DevOps toolkit. Low-code or no-code platforms are also trending a lot these days. These platforms enable users to build applications with minimal coding by using visual interfaces and drag and drop elements. They enhance application development allowing non-developers to contribute to the development process. This trend is expected to grow, making it crucial for DevOps engineers to understand how to integrate these platforms into their workflows. Microservices architecture is also rapidly increasing in popularity, even though it's not new in the scene. Microservices architecture involves breaking down applications into smaller, independent services that can be developed, deployed, and scaled independently. This approach offers benefits like scalability, flexibility, and resilience. Many large companies like Netflix, Amazon, and Uber have adopted microservices, and this trend is definitely going to continue. The next trending topic is the adoption of cloud-native tools. Deploying applications on the cloud using cloud-native tools like Docker, Kubernetes, and Istio has become standard practice. These tools enable efficient deployment and management of applications in cloud environments. And knowledge of cloud native tools is essential for DevOps engineers. DevSecOps is another hot topic. Integrating security into DevOps processes, also known as DevSecOps, is becoming increasingly important. As cyber threats evolve, companies are prioritizing security in their development workflows. DevSecOps practices ensure that security is considered at every stage of the software development lifecycle. Next is GitOps. GitOps uses Git repositories as a single source of truth for managing infrastructure and application configuration. This approach leverages version control and CI-CD practices to automate deployments. GitOps provides benefits like increased deployment speed, improved recovery times, and reduced developer involvement in operational tasks. Other trends like FinOps, which is financial operations, data ops, data operations, chat ops, you know, collaboration tool-based operations, and no ops, which means entirely automating operations, are gaining traction. These trends highlight the continuous evolution and specialization within the DevOps field. So, is DevOps a good field to get into in 2024? Absolutely. With the right skills and a commitment to continuous learning and a proactive approach to embracing new technologies like AI and cloud native tools, the prospects are very bright. Whether you're just starting or looking to enhance your career, DevOps offers a dynamic and rewarding path with plenty of opportunities for growth and innovation. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share it within your network and subscribe for more content like this. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the future of DevOps and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.